SPO is king of the hill with a 147% rally since April 2023. But with such a steep increase in stock price, can this bullish run continue? This is Entrendias. Welcome back to the channel. XPO's quarter two balance sheet has solid cash to current liability, even if the direction of these two line items since December isn't headed in the right direction. We can see total current assets down 6.6%, while the current liabilities is up near 2%. However, at a one-to-one -one ratio, XPO is in a great position to pay off its debts. Quarter two guidance was positive with gross capital expenditure expecting to rise 12% and revenue growth 13%. While looking at popular valuation metrics, we see XPO valuation rise dramatically thus far in 2023. Stocks are forward pricing and attempt to price in the future. However, if we believe in the law of averages, these valuations may face some turbulence ahead as investors may have gotten ahead of themselves. We can see both the forward PE and PEG ratio well above their respective average lines. So why is XPO valuation climbing? Trucking is a cyclical business with demand peaks and troughs. Investors are assuming the worst of the economy is over and trucking business is beginning to exit a trough. A potential future video is needed to analyze the macro economy as some popular recession indicators are pointing to a recession. Yellow, which was the third largest LTL company in the US, went bankrupt which gives XPO and its competitors uh, a chance to grab market share. Simultaneously, with a large supplier gone, trucking services will increase their prices on customers as customers have less options. As mentioned earlier, XPO guidance into 2027 has been upgraded. However, current fundamentals on the books have not changed. Only the opportunities ahead in the future have changed. XPO must first successfully grab said market share instead of letting UPS, uh, DHL, Old Dominion Freight, etc. from taking it. With that, let's take a look at free cash flow. Free cash flow is the money a company has left over after paying its operating expenses and capital expenditure. Back in 2022, we see the market cap peak at $5.12 with a free cash flow of 142 million. However, in June 2023, there was even more market cap in XPO at 6.5 billion when there was only 5 million in free cash flow. It is hard to justify a stock price currently at $73 a share at a 5 million free cash flow when just last year the stock was in half at a price of $40 a share with greater free cash flow at $142 million. From a value investing perspective, the price of XPO is not justified based on the P over FCF ratio. We see this ratio climb exponentially in 2023. Investors prefer a low price to free cash flow ratio because a low ratio suggests that the market price is relatively low compared to the amount of free cash flow the company is generating. Thus, investors may have gotten ahead of themselves. With recession signals pointing into a recession, such as the inverted yield curve, slowing bank credit, and slowing industrial production index, even if yellow is gone, if there is no raw goods or final goods to be shipped across the U.S. with a slowed economy, there is no market share to gain until the recession is over. Some opposing signals are the labor market is still considered strong and the consumer confidence index did increase over the summer. Now that we review the financials, let's review the technical analysis. Here we see the technical analysis piece for XPO. From a holistic point of view, we see this trend line respected twice over, over 2018 to today in 2023, only for it to be broken 
in June. We see a large volume gap that hasn't been um, respected as of late, and we may see that be filled in in the future. However, the on balance volume has clearly shown support of an increased rally here as we see a great increase in that and that continues to be supported higher. However, as we reviewed with the price over free cash flow, we're seeing great um, divergence between valuation and the stock price where it's starting to become a bit invalidating to support XPO here. We're also seeing potential bearish divergence in the Mac or excuse me, RSI here as we see a downward movement in RSI. However, the stock does continue to climb. A lot of bearish signals are happening for XPO here, even though yellow is bankrupt and there are market forces that are helping XPO become a tailwind here. Here at Entrendias, we are supposing a sell on XPO. Now let's take a look at the Entrendias algorithm here. We can go to the search assets tab here. The Entrendias terminal does pull up and let's type in XPO and see what our algorithm has to say. We're going to see that it's loading with the cube rotating. The algorithm takes about uh, six seconds, so 5.4 seconds here. And we get to see a backtest analysis. Essentially, if you did bought and held XPO, you would be in a better position compared to trading using Entrendias. The main reason why this has happened is because we see this great price push to the upside for much of the basically the entire summer here where we did successfully throw a buy signal here and then the algorithm spat out a sell signal for april 25th but clearly much more gains were to be had there however in the past the algorithm was performing very well here we see a sell signal in july 12th and then a good sell signal here a good cash grab we see a good sell signal for October 15th, a good sell signal here in November, and et cetera, et cetera. You keep going in a zigzag pattern there. Um, so with that being said, we're seeing a huge spread in sell signals from the Entrendia's algorithm. A lot of Bollinger Band movements where the high of the stock price invades the Bollinger Band as we continue to see higher and higher prices. The MACD line is all time high in the 2021 to 2023 window, and so is the RSI. So these readings are considered pretty bearish, and we may see some turbulence to the downside for XPO. Overall here at Entrendia's XPO is considered a sell, as I am following the buy put option chain closely. I personally do not plan on buying an option here as I'm still learning this derivative. Um, however, my personal uh, learning curve here is to just in my Robin Hood put in, hey, watch list uh, this put contract and see what happens. Um, currently up 14%. I think the expiration dates for September 8th or something like that. I think it was a $90 put, but I'd have to check on it. Um, definitely a sell. If you want to have a little more fun, potentially look at the put option chain. Of course, not financial advice. However, definitely a good setup for a put option. Uh, and for me, a good uh, lesson here to see a real life scenario. Uh, and see how it plays out. I plan to cover future macro trends of the economy. So if you don't want to miss that, please make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. I hope you enjoyed the XPO coverage. I will 
definitely be happy to revisit XPO in the future to see if the sell was the correct move. Share with your friends, check out the website algorithm in the description and comments below, and I will see you in the next one.